Then here I will run the cloud shell. The cloud shell is a command line on the cloud which I can run instead of running the command from my machine because in this case I don't need to install any command line interface tools. So the first is, let's clear that to have a clean one. So the first is I will create the main resource group that will has all the resources of the lab. This will create. So let's navigate to the resource group, refresh. We can see that the resource group created. Let's navigate that. So here I will create the SQL server logical server and as we can see we use here the resource group that i created and also the location for the resource group and a username and the password and this username and password i will use them later in the connection string to connect to my app so this will create the sql server logical server so let's navigate here refresh so we can see that the sql server created Let's open the SQL Server. And now I will navigate to the firewall. So we can see that allow Azure service resource to access the server is turned off. So I will create a firewall rule which will turn it on. So as we can see, this command will create a firewall rule for this resource group for the SQL Server and the firewall rule has name and has a start IB and the end IB. As long as the start IB and the end IB, all of them zero, it means that allow the Azure resources to access the SQL server. So let's execute that command and get back to the firewall. Let's refresh by going. So as we can see now, it's on. So let's navigate back to the resource group. So get back here and start creating the SQL database. So here, as we can see, I will create the database using the DTU model with S0 basic tier. So let's navigate to the resource group to see the database. So if I refresh, we can see now the database is created. And if we go for the type of the resource, we can see this is SQL database and this is SQL server. The resource group where it has the database and copy the name of the SQL Azure. Remember, because the virtual machine exists on Azure and we put the firewall rule to enable Azure resources, so I can connect with that if the sql management studio on my local machine i need to add my local machine ib as a firewall rule on azure sql then i will put here the username and password that i used to create the sql logical server and then connect so this connecting the sql management studio to azure sql server so I can navigate to the table and also see the to-do. We can see the columns. I can also retrieve some field. Let's select the top records. And we can see that it has the data. Again, if I go for the SQL server for the firewall, here is the place where I can put my local IP if I want to connect to the SQL server from on-premises machine. 